Welcome back in. And boy, was it a beautiful night for football. The redemption tour for the San Francisco 49ers officially kicked off tonight. And despite all the off-season drama, the 49ers showed the whole world you will put some respect on the defending NFC champions. Over 60,000 fans making their way into Levi Stadium for the Monday night showdown. And look who's back. None other than NorCal native Aaron Rodgers making the start for the Jets, and he would last longer than four snaps this year. On their third drive of the game, Rodgers would march the Jets down the field where Brees Hall would score the first touchdown of the game, but it wouldn't take long for the 49ers to clap back. Midway through the second quarter, Debo Samuel runs it in for the first 49ers touchdown of the season. To the third quarter now, Jordan Mason who was undrafted out of Georgia Tech back in 2022, he stood on business tonight with Christian McCaffrey out. Mason Rush for 147 yards and a touchdown. Niners would take a 26 to seven lead, but when you have Aaron Rodgers, I guess anything is possible. Rodgers would connect with his former Green Bay Packers teammate, Alan Lazard for the touchdown. That's Rodgers first touchdown pass in 610 days. Overall, not the best game for Aaron Rodgers. He was 13 of 21 for 167 yards, a touchdown, and a costly interception. His counterpart, Brock Purdy, completed 19 of 29 passes for 231 yards. And most importantly, Brock got the stat that matters, the win. Also, shout out to Jake Moody, who connected on six of six field goals. 49ers go on to defeat the Jets 32 to 19. And after the game, let's just say the 49ers were in awe of their teammate, Jordan Mason. Mason. J.P. Ski, he played his tail off, man, and it just shows how much, you know, we expect the next guy, um, the next man up to come in and do the job as well as the first one. We, we know what he's going to do every time we touch the ball. It don't matter who it is. Anybody with the um, San Francisco 49ers symbol, we know, we know what we're going to get out of. What J.P. also does, he's just such a downhill runner, and he's a dense dude sturdy that'd be a good word for it dense sturdy guy and he just runs on hill very physically like you guys saw that in like the first preseason game versus tennessee like he had like 70 yards on like six carries and so i hopefully he can just keep doing that and there'll be a very good sub i'm sorry a very good substitute for christian so we don't have to play christian for 100 snaps a game but i was definitely just happy with the the maturity of this team like you said um you know with all what people perceive as distractions and noise and um for us to go out there and show uh that it really didn't bother us uh, offense today, we did our job. We got the win. Um, I'm not a coach, so I, I ain't going to do no great now. Um, it feels great. Winning is awesome. There's nothing better than winning a football game. I mean, don't tell my wife that there are other things that are better. But in a football building, winning is the best. Um, besides that, the, you know what? All we preached the entire week and a lot of the offseason was just focus on one game at a time. That's all that we can focus on because if you look down the line at the you know our lo like the lofty goal and expectations, there's the distractions and stuff like that. So we're going to focus on one game at a time. We're going to have this one tomorrow. We're going to focus on just getting our bodies right, and then we'll be focused on uh, Minnesota Vikings. And Kyle's going to have a fantastic game plan. Back out here at Levi Stadium. So the 49ers can enjoy this one for too long because they have a short week as they prepare for the Minnesota Vikings. But in the meantime. They'll enjoy it tonight. From Levi Stadium, Kevin John, ABC 10 Sports.